I'm Gina Malisham. I'm the BCHIP HIV testing counselor at Birmingham AIDS Outreach. That's Birmingham's comprehensive high impact prevention um, funded by the CDC and I'm a Tuscaloosa native. I'm also a descendant of civil rights advocates with deep roots in equality and social justice. Well, my great uncle Joe Malisham, who has since passed away, but we love and cherish and remember his legacy in Tuscaloosa. He was on the county commission and he did a lot of civil rights work. Um, he suffered everything from the water hoses to actually having a portion of his tongue cut off for being an orator that spoke on behalf of those who were being discriminated against. So he's definitely my main inspiration for joining this kind of work and always wanted to work for nonprofit and social justice. Living in the intersections of pansexuality and racial minority and gender oppression and religious persecution, I haven't had to search very hard um, to discover the real meaning of intersectionality or of love and acceptance. I was led to Birmingham AIDS Outreach about two and a half years ago as an employee and a few years back as a volunteer. And I was led here because the agency offers world-class free and confidential LGBTQ services and services to people living with HIV on a very small budget. I think the most important thing that people need to realize is that HIV is not a death sentence. It hasn't been for a very long time and that we have prophylaxis that'll prevent you from getting HIV. We have emergency medication that you can take if you feel like you've contracted HIV. And the most important thing everyone needs to know is that every person alive needs to get tested once a year and that we offer that free and confidentially at Birmingham AIDS Outreach. My search for queer serving nonprofits has also led me to the Sidewalk Shout Film Festival. Um, Shout is Alabama's first and only LGBTQ film festival. Um, so we're serving the lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, and otherwise queer community in Magic City with um, queer cinema and providing compelling content for anybody interested in independent films. Queer representation in the media is definitely very different now than it was in the late 80s and in the 90s. Um, it used to be that a uh, queer identified person wasn't portrayed in a film or on television unless they were dying from HIV or being targeted. There's a lot of folks that live in the South that never see anyone like them on television or in films and now they do um, because we've made such great strides in queer media. So I hope that that continues and we keep seeing versions of ourselves not being victimized in the media. In my dream Alabama, my utopian Alabama, the Crimson Tide always wins and everyone can get married, anyone can adopt and they have absolutely no trouble registering their children for school. Everyone can go to church together and receive health services together and there's no disparities based on socioeconomic background. <laughs>